Hey Taurus, this is gonna be your bonus love reading for mid-July through mid-August. If you guys want a private reading with me, all the information is in the description box below the video as well as the about section. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, that's listed there as well. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with you guys in love, mid-July through mid-August. What does Taurus need to hear mid-July through mid-August in love? What is the most important message Taurus needs to hear? All right, you guys. So there's a lot of action cards here for you guys in love, mid-July through mid-August. The most important message for you guys is the Ace of Pentacles. So that's a gift coming in of abundance, prosperity, some kind of offer, but it's a gift from the universe. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is we have the devil, we have the queen of cups, eight of swords, and judgment. So the devil can be the sign of Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Capricorn here, or you could be dealing with either some emotions that you're kind of stuck in, or somebody else that's stuck with their emotions. There is water here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, um, But somebody here, it's like they have their head in the sand. They don't want to see things for what they are. Someone's blindfolded, somebody's bound, but it's just mentally. So... Really, this is more about somebody taking action here to untie themselves from either an un, um, a negative relationship, an unfulfilling relationship, or emotions and feelings. It could be negative behavior patterns with the devil, addictions, um, cheating, but also what I'm feeling here is more um, negative emotional feelings and being stuck and bound to those things that don't serve you anymore. So with judgment here, this is all about healing. So it could be about emotionally healing either you or somebody that you're dealing with here. Okay, so somebody needs to make something right. Apologies here. Um, with the judgment card, it's like rising from the ashes. It's a total rebirth. So for some of you, there could be a change in direction in a relationship that you're in or it could be leaving relationships behind that do not serve you. We do have these eclipses coming up. So, um, you know, two in July and one in August. With the six of wands is victory, okay? So there is victory, there is a change in direction, and there is fast movement forward with the eight of wands here. It could feel like things are so out of control and things are moving so fast that you're just in complete shock. Um, there could be somebody that's coming back, you know, from the past that you didn't expect. And with the nine of wands here, this could mean, um, this is like the wounded warrior energy. So you may not sure, not be sure that you want to bring this person back into your life for those of you that somebody is coming back. For others of you, um, you know, this is a change in direction for you. You are persevering with the nine of wands here. And with the page of cups, there's some kind of an offer. The page of cups can be an emotional offer. It can also be intuitive messages coming through, messages through your dreams, through numbers. So pay attention to those things. Page of cups is that water energy. Again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So that's what you could be dealing with or you could be dealing with a lot of emotions here. We'll start clarifying. Why is the devil here for Taurus, please? One more with the Devil and the Ace of Pentacles. So you have the Ace of Pentacles twice here. I 
Okay, so there definitely is some kind of healing going on, especially with temperance here. Temperance is the sign of Sagittarius and strength is the sign of Leo. Um, we do have Leo season coming up in July into August before we hit Virgo season. So this could be definitely a Capricorn here, especially with the Earth energy. Um, you know, you may be stuck between two people here. Or somebody else is stuck between choosing between pe two people with the water energy here, Capricorn, Sagittarius. So there's a lot of different signs coming through. But, you know, if that's not your situation, there's definitely healing going on here. Somebody may be giving you an offer. The devil also can deal with sexual vitality. So it could be a real sensual, sexual time for you as well. Um... So, you know, that could be for some of you. You may be getting that gift, that offer. Somebody's coming through here and there's a real romantic sexual relationship that's going on. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups for Taurus, please. Some of you, there may be an offer coming through and you're just not sure quite yet. Because um, you may be still dealing with, you know, emotions, having to heal and all that stuff with the Judgment card here in the Eight of Swords. But Queen of Cups, so somebody here is looking forward to the future, waiting for things to come in. So, you know, this definitely could be dealing with emotions if it's not Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But what this is saying is that this gift is just on the horizon, which means things are going to happen soon for you guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Taurus, please? Very good. So this is a change in direction involving emotional fulfillment, happiness within the home. Okay, so with the Ten of Cups, this is getting towards the completion of a cycle. So there could be a major turnaround for some of you. Um, those that are in marriages, relationships that just need some healing, need some good communication, things like that. Some of you guys may really be healing here and getting to this Ten of Cups energy. Others of you, there may be somebody new coming in here, somebody that's going to give you that Ten of Cups happiness. But with the Ace of Pentacles here twice, there is some kind of gift coming through. So what this is saying is be patient and have the strength because there is going to be a turnaround for you. And with this Page of Cups offer here, new emotions... This is beautiful energy. Let's clarify the Page of Cups for Taurus, please. <laughs> Look at this, Taurus. Judgment and the Two of Cups. So now we have Judgment twice. So if there is water energy here, this is the possibility of a water sign, but also this is emotional healing for you, an emotional turnaround, an emotional rebirth, um, an offer of love, an offer of happiness, emotional fulfillment. So a lot of emotions here flowing. So you guys really have something to look forward to here, mid-July through mid-August. With these eclipses, there could be a huge turnaround. And plus, Uranus and Taurus in your sign in your first house, that's dealing with yourself, your beliefs, your attitudes. So a lot of you may be going through a healing process here. And while going through that healing process, having some kind of offer or gift of love. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love and treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So some of you really, again, your emotions, your feelings towards love, your partner, things like that could be going through a healing process. Others of you who are single, there may be somebody coming in here. You may have you know, gone through a tough time in the past, especially with the judgment card and the eight of swords. And this is healing for you. You've worked on your healing and now you're ready to give and receive love. So beautiful energy for you, Taurus. There's a lot of great things coming in here for you guys. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoy this reading. Take care.